go backwards or forward? Forward! Go backwards or forward? Forward! Go backwards or forward? Forward! All right, that's why I am here. Come on, we can take a seat now. <laughs> I'm here because I am still fired up from the last time around. I, yes. I've never cooled off, and I'm fired up to continue forward with our president. Yes. I'm fired up to protect all the progress that our president has made on our behalf. Yes. And there's so much progress. There's yes. so much good news. I'm really excited to meet you guys. I know you're going out canvassing. Some of you have been doing it all, all along phone baking, all those things that, that create community. You've been doing it. And that's why I just want to come here and cheer you on in that today. You have good news, and that's the great thing. Mm -hmm. To remember, when you're going door to door, hand to hand, mm -hmm. person to person, you're yeah. spreading the good news. Yeah. You can talk about the Affordable Care Act yes. and everything that it does. What yes. a gift. What a remarkable gift when yes. you think what he, what this president has done. Yes. Stuck to it with his hands tied behind his yes. back. Yes. Yes. Working hard for the American population yes. across economic lines, across yes. cultural, ethnic yes. lines, age lines. That's what he has given us. Yes. You know, Social Security didn't look like Social Security when it first started out. Yes. So we have, a, we have a framework, we have a, a foundation, and we will continue to refine that. But what a gift for seniors, for middle people, middle age, for young people, for our babies, and for the generations to come. Yes. So that's great news. You can talk to them about all of the, you can talk to them about all of the screenings that, that you can get with the expanded Medicare, yes. preventive care yes. really helps the health of a nation. Yes. And the health of a nation, frankly, is a national security yes. concern. Yes. So that's what Barack Obama has given us. Yes. And within that, women especially, all the things that it does for us. This president has always sought to protect a woman's right to govern her own yes. affairs. Yes. 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 And so we know that people like us, and we're going to reach out to people you know, friends, neighbors, family, people like us, but also we can find the language to reach out to our sisters who are Republican or our sisters who are Democrat that feel queasy about the language. And we can say to them, this isn't about pro-abortion. No. They co-opted the language. Yes. Nobody wants yes. to ever be in that situation. Oh, Lord, no. No, and you don't want your daughters. But the, the whole point is, Pro-choice Pro means choice. that you are protecting their choice right. to do whatever they need to do or want to do publicly. Yes, it is a matter of a woman, her, her family, her, her spiritual advisor or a mother, whoever it is. And so we, we need to find the language to reach out to them because right now what we're trying to do, that progress we're trying to protect it's progress for all women. Yes. And when women move forward, the whole family moves forward. Oh, absolutely. And when the families move forward, communities, cities, and the country moves forward. Yes. But you got to love a president whose policies serve to uplift, protect, promote, yes. and to pay yes. women. Yes. That's more good news you got. You got the Lily Ledbetter. Yes. Okay yes. 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 And you know what? She's just a prime example of. You don't have to have 50,000 degrees or be in office uh -huh. to have something named after you. I thought I had this great fortune of sitting next to Ms. Ledbetter during the convention. She is a regular white woman from Alabama, <laughs> just regular, who noticed that her paycheck was a lot less than Joe's for the same job. job. And you know she was cleaning up behind Joe yeah. and Pete anyway. She a better job. half of their job. Yeah. And she just said, no, that's what it takes. But that's the kind of president we have. He honors all of us by honoring that regular woman who had the courage to say, wait a minute, we need some justice here. And it's justice for all of us. So yeah. those are the kind of things that you're bringing. And brothers, you know what? When the, when the women, look, when the women are lifted up, you are lifted up, everybody's lifted up. And you guys have all of those things. Go get your, your cholesterol tested, your, your prostate screenings, everything that you need. Just a boon. And if, you know, if you like paying high premiums, you can keep your high premiums. You know? <laughs> but you know what? Even those people paying high premiums who are against 
the Affordable Care Act, they even got money back. Ten million people got money back because whenever the, the companies were using more of your premium, 80% of, more than 80% of your premium to pay for administrative costs, you automatically got money back. Just every strata of America is covered with that. Mm -hmm. So that's great news. Yes. And I know you guys understand planting a garden. If you don't have one, some of you young ones are city by. <laughs> but <laughs> if you plant a garden, you don't look for the vegetables the next day. No. So what, what President Obama has done, he's planted a garden. Absolutely. First of all, he had to, he had to treat the soil because yes. it was toxic. Oh, and it was deep. He had to build that soil back up. Yeah. Then he got good seeds. Yeah. Good seeds planted like-minded people who were experts right. in their fields, who had, who had the common good at the front of their mind the way he does, and they have slowly built a foundation, a garden. It's taken root, and we've seen that. Everything is in place to make this economy grow, to make our country grow and strong again, and it's starting to, it's starting to pay off. The crops are coming up. Yes, yes. But we're mature enough as a culture to know, even if you're business people, you know that you don't look for that payoff the next day. But we know well enough that you protect that. You protect that garden. You don't let people come through kicking up the roots when they have no ideas, they have no seeds, and they are not interested in having produce from a victory garden for the whole country, the whole community that is the country. So that's what we have to protect. You have to go and let people know when they say, well, I just feel kind of lackluster. It's like, no, no, we got good news. All that is happening. Not only was the automobile industry turned around, but there are tangential uh, businesses and jobs saved in that 1.5 million in the surrounding areas that have to do with the car industry. And people will say, some people will do that kind of thing that they do, that making up kind of, <laughs> yes, that imagining kind yeah. of thing that happens. But some people will say that, that he is not a friend of business, but he is a great Friend and an advocate for yes. small business owners. Oh, and I'm a, I'm you know, a living cut for business, small business mm -hmm. owners taxes 18 times yes, already in this term. That's true. And also has helped secure funding for uh, loans for 150,000 small businesses mm -hmm. so that they can expand. He understands they are the backbone of our economy and that they're going to create two out of every three jobs that are going to be created. So that's who he is. The military, our troops, people walk around with the little you know, bands on us. Everybody says the troops the way you say, you know, God bless you when somebody sneezes. Mm -hmm. they, they, they take it for granted. Like it doesn't, it's reflex.